to squat setup, um, the, the important thing you want to know is, does your squat look like a squat or does it look like another movement? So if we're setting up again for our back squat and we're squatting and we kind of see this happen here, I'm kind of folded over here. I'm doing more of a hinge movement or what we call a, a, a good morning squat, which my knees have bent a little bit, um, but I'm really bending my, my back a lot and I'm, I'm hinging my hips more like I would on a deadlift. And so what you'd want to do in that case um, is just see, is that something where people are just trying to sit back very far into their squat? Um, and I will cue people instead of sitting back to sit down. Um, that uses your knees and hips a little more evenly. It can be as easy as that to kind of clean things up. Sometimes it's not. Um, a couple different things we can try is also see if they have the ankle mobility to allow their knees to come forward over their toes. If I have no flexibility in my ankles here, my knees cannot come forward to drop me into this squat. I have no choice but to sit my hips back. So ankle mobility is another real important piece um, that you're gonna wanna check out if you have the hinge or good morning squat. Uh, it puts a lot of stress on your back and it's really, it doesn't train the legs in the way that we want because it's not the movement that we're trying to be doing. 